friend. What are you doing, Pop? No son of mine is gonna be a heterosexual paper pusher. You need to be a loud and proud performer like your gay old dad. I'm telling you this because I love you. You'll never find someone to love you. Not even Dolly Levi could help you. Who's Dolly Levi? <gasps> oh, where did we go so wrong? So Elton John collaborated with Bernie Taupin, who would write the lyrics for Elton's songs. Bernie was married three times in a desperate bid to convince the world he was not a homosexual. All right, Bernie, what do you got? Uh, how about this? Yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. They are? Oh, I, I'm not gay. You're not? You, you just seem very... Yeah, I'm British. We all seem that way, even if we're not, but secretly are. Elton, meet the best producer in the business. Kid, how would you like to sign with my label? Naive Young Talent Records. Together, we are gonna make me millions. Sounds fair to me. Let's get to it. From then on, Elton's new male producer rode him day and night. When Elton was tired of playing, he'd get right behind him and push him on the stool until he was finished. Sometimes Elton would cry because of how hard he was pushing, but it paid off because in the end, they had a massive load of hits. Just a, just a big, messy load of hits. The night Elton John performed at Dodger Stadium, he was so nervous, he almost never left the dressing room. Well, dude, no. I'm just a straight moment of clarity. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't... Uh... But his reflection had walked away, never to return. And he had to do his own makeup. Also, due to a scheduling error, the Dodgers had a game that night, and Elton had to bat fourth in the lineup. It's a mince-off single, and the Dodgers win! Yeah! 